Amen. God bless you, precious and beloved daughter of God. And that God will do great things in your life more and more. No marvel, even your enemies, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And that voice will not be missing when we shall gather at the um, on that day in heaven when all the saints shall gather before the throne of God, you will be there, we all shall be there in that general assembly in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our precious Holy Father, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you. We exalt thee because you are a good God. We thank you immensely for whom you are. We thank you for your mercy you have shown to us. We thank you for this ordinance you have by yourself. Ask us to be doing to your glory. That is totally unmerited for me and for every soul on this mountain. Notwithstanding, because of your mercy, you allowed us to be who we are today. That we have come to celebrate you again. We have come to raise the banner of victory over sin, self, Satan again. Up high. We have come to pledge our allegiance, to renew our allegiance, to strengthen our allegiance to you again. That we are asking, O oh God, to speak to us in the language we all will understand. Talk to me, O oh God. Father, as you enter me, everything in me that is not of you, empty them. And fill me of yourself and remain in me. Likewise, every source on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You spirit of destruction, mind wandering. I cast you out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Speak in me and speak through me to the end. You alone, O oh God, will be glorified in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. But then we have a brief word of exhortation except those of us who are new on this mountain what we are about to do is not new to most of us again now we're studying we have to do what is needful so that we will not be too used to eat and become like the people of Corinth eat sleep and die that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ amen for that reason we have a message titled Reconciliation unmerited. Reconciliation unmerited or undeserved. But then when the daughter of Zion was leading the open prayer, she quoted the very first verse that the Lord gave to us here. That before you were born, the Lord knew that you will be among those that will be re- that will be reconciled back to God, it's not because you are you came from that family. It's not because you there's something special about you, but because the Lord God Almighty has predestined you that that place in heaven you must occupy it. Many people were born by sinners, live in sin die in sin and go to hell. There was no correction. Some of them, the message was not preached to them. Some people, the message was preached to them and their heart was hardened. But the Lord, because he loved you, because the day he formed you, he predestined you to live with him everlasting in heaven, he made you to be who you are today. The Bible told me and you in Ephesians chapter 1, 1 through 7. Say, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God. Paul was not an apostle because of himself. Many people did more atrocity than Paul, but God singled him out. Just as you are singled out today, predestination. There are many people that followed him when he was on his way to Damascus. The Bible says they heard the voice. No, they saw the light. They did not hear the voice. And they never asked, what was this light for? Why? Because their heart was in that. Because they were not the one salvation called for. 
the day you became born again, that day, many people died in sin. Oh, because the Lord created you for his purpose, you became born again just as Apostle Paul. By the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. We are the saints which are in Mount no Solution and Redemption Premises Worldwide today. Verse 2. Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from, from the Lord Jesus Christ. 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. And yet, me and you are still crying over this on earth here. When we are loaded, the Lord is up there already. God will show us mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 4. Amen. According as he has chosen us. Yesterday, not yesterday. The day you became born again, not that day. The day somebody preached to you, it was not that day. Your redemption was given. The election had been carried out long, long time ago, even before this earth existed, which had chosen us in his beloved, in him, before the foundation of the world. It may interest you, before Adam and Eve sinned, your redemption had been programmed. That is to tell you, even God knew Adam and Eve will fortify. That will be a message for another day. He knew is the God that when he was creating for me Adam, he knew what Adam would do. And because he knew what Adam would do, he quickly found solution ahead of time. And he put your name in there. Trillions of people were passing by. That will be coming to this world when it came to your, to, to your stage. He said, You stand. This is the minute of love. You must be delivered. You come, you must be saved. That was why you were grafted in. He is the God that knows the end from the beginning. Before the foundation of this earth was even laid, your redemption was already setting. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. It means our holiness is not in our power. Our righteousness is not in our power. There is a power behind doing what he's doing. There are people who serve God more than you, but they are not holy as you are. In all their zealousness, they are living in sin, no correction. They pain their heads, speaking in tongues. Put on where what God has by himself took, taken away from you. It's all of them and in him. They are praying. They are in evangelism. Ask my sister that, that, that is in the mountain. How you, myself, herself, from us, we are always on evangelism when we are in the other church. Some people are still there now, doing the same thing. But God put you out and made you what you are Today, it's not in your power to be holy. It was the Holy Spirit who was sent to you before the foundation of the world, before you were conceived in your mother's womb. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before he formed thee, he knew thee. That's why you are who you are today. 5. Having predestinated us, having predestinated us, into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. Predestinated me and you that these are the ones that will be bought out from the hands of the devil. These are the ones that will be adopted out. I know Adam will sell them out. Adam will make them to become children that are not aliens. People who are not children of God, but there was a predestinated adoption purpose for you and I. And that is why we are who we are today. 
according to the good pleasure of his will. It is the will of God for me and you to be saved. That's why we are saved today. Say, no one come to me except my father who has sent me call him. And if you are not in there from the foundation, you cannot be there. There, there were many people that followed Jesus Christ the day he selected the apostles. But he knew them. He knew his own. And he selected them all over the world. As Satan is packing his people now, God is also selecting his children. There is a mark upon them. And that mark of redemption is on you. And no power shall be able to wash it away forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Verse 6. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. He made us accepted. That was why you had the mind to say, Father, have mercy. The way you cry when you do any, any little thing. So people do words that, that they don't even care. When you just make any little error now, you'll be crying and weeping like a baby. People will slaughter you, my being. They don't care. They'll go and rob bank. As we are talking now, people are doing rituals. Killing people, they don't care. But you, just common error. You will not face this side. You will not face this side. You'll be crying. It's not in your power because you are accepted in his beloved. Seven, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. It's nothing about me and you. If mercy have not been given to you, you cannot confess. It's not possible. So confessing is one of the difficult, the, the most difficult thing a child, uh, somebody can do. It's not an easy thing. To say, Father, have mercy. If the Holy Spirit have not done it through you, you can't do it. Your heart will be seared up. But because your place is in heaven, the blood of Christ has been shed for you before the foundation of the world. That is why you are who you are today. That's why you must not be afraid of Satan. Because Satan has no power over you. It was imperative that Joshua the high priest must make heaven. That's why when Satan came, God did what he did. But notwithstanding, we must not willfully sin. And God will not even allow you to willfully sin. Because the seed of God is in you. Praise that the Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before then, you and I were the enemy of God. Though Satan was bragging, you are the enemy of God. You are doomed. God knew that we are his children. He knew what to do. And he proved it. The Bible told me and you in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 18 to 21. And all things are of God who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Not only reconciling you, he gave you job to be doing. He gave you work. Say, my daughter, I'm going away. Stay in my position or eight here. Do it and I'm coming to take you home. John 14, 1 to 3. Verse 19 of 1 Corinthians 5. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing the trespass unto them, and has committed unto me and you the word of reconciliation. Why? Because that is what you have created you for. You are God personified on earth. You are a child of God. It means the seed of God is in you. What made God God is the spirit of God that is in God. What made Christ Christ when he was on earth? He was like me. He might be like me, but yet he was God. Why? Because of the spirit in him. And because of the spirit of God in, is in you, you are God personified. It's like saying, ye are gods. That is who you are. Why? Because God made it so. Verse 20. 
Now then, we are ambassadors of Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray ye in Christ's sense, be ye reconciled to God. 21. For he had made him to be seen for us. Who knew no sin? That we may be made the righteousness of God. This was done even before the foundation of the world. He only came into this world to practicalize it. He had been slayed before the foundation. A lamb slayed before the foundation of the world. Before Adam sinned, the redemption had been done already. That's why we must not think about ourselves. If uh, For you to enter heaven is not your power. The Lord, but please, I believe I'm talking to people who are wise. That doesn't mean if your father say, hey, Sam, I love you so much, I can do it for you, Sam, Sam is behaving. No, 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 no. It's only a fool that will do that. The more your father loves you, the more you fear. The more God is dragging you to himself, the more you fear. That is how to know a child is wise. And I believe we all are children who are wise, that are wise on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's written in the book of Romans chapter 5. Romans 5 from verse 7. It says, For scarcely for a righteous man we want to die, yet paraventure for a good man some, will, some would even dare to die. It, But God commended his love to us all Towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for you and I. It might interest you to know, while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. We are born again now. We are living a holy life by the grace of God. Some people also that did what we did, Christ died for us all. But he pulled you out of that sin. Why Jesus Christ was on the cross, died for the world, somebody was on the cross going to hell. One or the right gained favor. Christ that came to die for the sin of the world. In his presence, somebody was dying in sin, going to hell. Christ that came to die for the sinners. He told a sinner, go and do it fast. And perish. Why he was telling somebody, sit and get behind me, and I will come back to you. When you repented, when you are converted, go and drag the rest. The same God. How favor are you? But there are some favor that somebody will do, to, do for you. You will use all your mind, fearfully handle that favor. There are some gift you will receive. You will know this gift, I don't deserve it. You will look here, look here, look here. Say, mm -mm, this gift, I have to handle this gift very well because I don't deserve it. That's why that is the gift you and I have today. We must do everything to handle it as the greatest, most treasurable treasure in our lives. Our God will help me and you. And every iota of pride in me and you. Thinking is because you are eloquent. That's why you are doing what you are doing today. And the reason why, because you can read very well. There are professors out there. God is not looking at them. Me and you will be reading, will be counting. There are people where they, call, they read like computer. But God made you an eye to be who we are today. It's a treasure that we should do everything. Hold it very well. So that you and I will not be like Lot's wife. Who God did everything to drag out of Sodom and Gomorrah. And yet, she said, no, you, she will not be delivered. And every spirit of Lot's wife in me, in you, shall die today as we eat the body of Christ and drink his blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Verse 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved. From the rot through him. Whatever the devil is planning to waste time. No matter 
what he's saying. The ordinance of condemnation have been washed away. Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 to 15, there about. Brethren, count yourself favored. Where God pull you out from, people are still there now. People have died here. They have gone to hell. But here you and I are. Let us do everything to embrace this free gift, but most costly gift. Free, but most costly. That is the gift you and I have today. Have you ever received any gift from anybody? And you will look and say, this one, I don't deserve it. You will look at, this, you will look at the person. You mean you gave me such a thing? It will just smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just, just, just have it. That is what you and I have today. I want you to stand your feet on me now as you can. You can let and say, Father, I thank you. Thank you for this gift undeserved, unmerited you have given me. And wherever I be taken as if it's a deserved one, doing some things, some funny things, for people to know that you are whatever. God have mercy upon me. Grant me this of humbleness today to follow you in all humbleness and sincerity. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, He shed some days Almighty Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon me. Wherever, O oh God, I be thinking that, O oh God, I deserve what I am enjoying. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me, O oh God. Grant me the grace from now on to live for you, to humble myself for you, to humble myself for you. I have this of humbleness, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I just of humbleness of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ, let we pray. Last because of time, the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Be justified freely by his grace. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Free justification. So to say this, somebody like Pastor Sandisina, as he has gone to Ukraine, if he's proud, he don't know what he's doing. Because he's there, he's totally unmerited. So sorry for using you. If the wife now comes to her, start behaving, so I, I will say, man, I pity you. It was not because they cried. It was not because of, it was just the mercy of God, the same thing that you and I are enjoying today. It's not left for them not to embrace God even the more. I want to say, okay, my husband, finally you have come now, and uh, let us all left for the same thing with you. Be now justified freely. What are you doing with that free gift now? That is the question. Lord, this free justification you are given to me, help me not to misuse it. Help me on the last day you will not regret justifying me freely. But say, welcome my faithful servant who knew what he was doing when he was on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, patience of this Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have, have, have mercy upon me. You will not regret saving me, O God. You will not regret, O God, delivering me from the, from the power, power of sin. You will not regret, O God, saving my soul. Father, the grace I need to do your will, the grace my wife needs, our children need to do your will. Give us that grace, O God, to humble ourselves to follow you. Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ, help us, O God. Help us, O God. Help us, O God. Help us, O God. In Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen. And you and I will not fail this gift of grace at last. Grace will not regret saving me and you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. The grace that biggest salvation has just appeared to you now. 
embrace it now. The blood is still flowing. Embrace the blood of redemption now. All you need to do is to open your hands. His hands are already open to embrace you. Embrace him now. Let your sin be poor at his feet. He's ready to take them away. Confess him now as your Lord and personal Savior. And if you are also there, situation of life made you to backslide. Man did not say, man say. They abuse you, they don't abuse you, made you to backslide. Don't go to hell because of somebody. Please return back to God now because you don't know when your day will come. I beg you, come back to him. It's grace upon your life will not be, man will not take it away from you. Situation Amen. will not take it away from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray for you, I pray for myself Amen. in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Those of us who have just embraced the Lord now, please just move a step further to get baptized. Call on any of the men of God on the mountain and God will use them to do what he has called them for. They have no choice. They will do it and do it joyfully in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I thank you, O God, for all you've done for us, O God. Help us, O God, to keep worshiping you. Help us to keep on raising your, your banner of love of victory till we meet you heaven on that day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray wherever we have been given Satan occasion to mock you, make you try to regret why you did what you did for us. Forgive us, O oh God, as we eat you and drink you today, today, we will overcome all those power that have been making us to misbehave in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let us set our table at the song that we lead us in.